Hey guys, welcome back to Pops and Props. So in today's video, I'm going to be finishing up the 13 day spooky countdown and that's the front. <laughs> My bad. Originally guys, I said I would finish this off at the beginning of a bunch of other videos, but I kind of wanted to just do it in one video and kind of get it out of the way. And I just thought it'd be a lot of fun for you guys. So I'm going to get started with this first. And last time I opened these up, I did notice that this was kind of taking up too much of the frame. So what I'm going to be doing is just taking this off, opening it kind of from over here, and then show, showing you guys the figure. So I think it'll just be a little bit easier, and it'll be a lot easier for you guys to actually see the figure and actually see me. So we are on figure seven which is right here. So I'm going to be opening, I want to make sure I actually get this right. I'm going to be opening this one up first, and then I'm going to put this off to the side, like I said before, and then I'm going to open this one up. And I can already see what it is. I'm pretty happy about this. Um, these bags are a lot different. Like some of them I opened up the other day, um, they had like, they were easier to rip. So I don't know what that is. But guys, the figure is Jason Voorhees. Now, I am a huge, huge fan of Friday the 13th. And I honestly just love Jason Voorhees in general. I think he's a really iconic horror movie figure. And I'm sure you guys know who he is too. So if you haven't watched the Friday the 13th movies, definitely go check them out. So next up is number eight. So I'm just gonna be doing this off to the side again just so it's out of the way. Um, but let's see who we got here. Ooh, another good one. <laughs> We've got Beetlejuice. Oh, guys, look at that figure. That is a great figure. I love his hat. I love the color in his hair and also the color around his eyes and just like that, that green, that like limey green in his face. Really nice touches. If you guys haven't seen Beetlejuice, highly recommend it once again. It's a very comedic movie. It's a bit kind of different. It's got that kind of like, I think it's 80s or 90s when it came out. It's kind of got that vibe, but definitely check it out. Once again, another awesome figure. So we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 left to do. So we're going to be trying to do probably three of these figures in one clip, just so it goes a little easier and a little bit smoother. So I'm going to crack open number nine here and see what we got here. I can get this thing open. And we got Annabelle. Annabelle sitting in a chair, actually. And this is another great figure. I love the detail in the hair. Really, really nice. I love the chair she's sitting on. And I also love the eyes, how they're kind of like kind of like a matte color, like it really makes her seem like she's porcelain. So that's great. I'm pretty happy with that. I do like the Annabelle movies, some of them more than others, uh, but I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> I don't wanna be ranting about movies on here. And number 10, if I can get this open, alrighty. Ooh, -hoo. now I didn't think this was gonna be in here. And so this was a really big surprise to me. This is Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. Wow. That is a nice figure. I love the, I'm going to show it again. I love the blood on the lips and the tongue. And I love all the little vines and kind of like the uh, leaves, I would say, I guess. It's just really, really awesome. This is a nice surprise, guys. Really, really nice. So we've got 11 here. Uh, yeah, so we've got two more after this, maybe three more. I don't know, 13 looks like it's gonna be two characters, which I'm pretty excited about. There's lots of possibilities and lots of options for that. So let's check out number 11. Ooh, and we got, this is the demon from The Nun. And I'm pretty sure this demon is called Valak. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, movie was so-so. I liked it. I hated it. Kind of a mix of emotions. But this is a pretty nice figure, I have to admit. I love the eyes. I love the detail and the brows around the eyes. 
It's a pretty nice figure. And we're coming up to 12. We are almost done. I'm getting a little sad, but as I like to say, all good things come to an end. We've got number 12 here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Huh. We got another Pennywise. That's awesome. <laughs> so there's the figure, guys. Um, I want to make sure you guys can actually see this here. So there he is. I think he looks awesome. I love that he's holding a balloon. I'm actually going to grab the other figure to show you guys. So here they are. This is the one with the balloon. This is the one I pulled the other day. I'm really happy with these guys, honestly. These are fantastic. A really nice addition to the collection. So I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna open up, last but not least, number 13. So here it is, guys. This is the last countdown day of the 13 day spooky countdown. And I'm pretty excited for this. I have no idea what these are gonna be. Um, so let's open one up. Ooh, I can already see who it is. Well, who they are, I should say. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with these today. Always a hit or miss. It's kind of kind of like with those Pokemon cards. I'm gonna open both of them up first and then show you guys because I think it will make a little more sense. Um, but these are from one of my most favorite horror movies of all time, which is really saying something, and probably one of my most favorite books of all time. Let's try something. There we go. That's easy. So we have got the Grady twins. Now these are almost identical, but I'm just going to put them up in the frame to show you guys off. Show them off. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, these are really, really great. I actually have the two pack Funk Pops of these normal size, the three it's a three and a half inch, I think, something like that, standard Funko Pop size, but I do have them. They're great figures. I'm really happy that these were a part of the Spooky Countdown. So once again, I'm just, just gonna show these off. I'm pretty happy with how these look. And yeah, so that's about it for the Spooky Countdown. Let's get into that Funko Pop. So guys, in the last video you guys probably saw, I went to Spirit Halloween and I tried to look for, um, his name is Sam from Trick or Treat. I tried to find the Spirit Halloween exclusive Funko Pop at Spirit Halloween, but I had no luck, no whatsoever. I did find a pretty cool mask that day, um, which I was pretty happy about, but it was a little disappointing not finding that figure. So after a few days, I went back to Spirit Halloween and they had probably around five or six in stock and I was beyond excited. I was so happy. I probably picked the one with the best box condition. And I'm just gonna show you guys this figure. So guys, here he is. His box is a little bit out of proportion, but honestly, he looks really, really great. I'm really happy I got to pick up this figure. Um, I actually haven't seen the movie before, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys kind of shamed me on that. But I've had I've had, this character has had such a reputation, so I know this character fairly well, but I haven't seen the movie. So I am going to briefly take this guy out of the box just to show you guys up closer. Honestly, I really love the detail of this figure. I like how he's kind of just chilling. He's kind of sitting down on a rock. He's got the pumpkin beside him. There he is, guys. As you can see, he's got leaves all around him on the face. Honestly, the detail in the mask too. Like his eyes, the button eyes, perfect. The mask looking great. Everything about this Funko Pop is really, really cool. I'm just gonna show a few glam shots of this figure. Um, just kind of do a little photo shoot and then I'm gonna wrap things up. <laughs> So 
So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed opening the uh, spooky countdown. Kind of sad that it's over, but all good things come to an end. And I really enjoyed showing off that new Funko Pop that I got from my collection to you guys. I think it's a great Funko Pop. And honestly, I'm just really glad I picked it up. As always, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.